Hey guys, so today I'm in Sunny Beach in the southeast of Bulgaria and I've come up to the north side of the town to tell you, show you the, the north side of Sunny Beach. The north side of Sunny Beach is the area where you get all the best hotels, all the five star and four star hotels are here and the best accommodation is here on the north side because this is the new part of Sunny Beach. So up and down the promenade you've got all these tourist shops uh, they're selling all kinds of different copies like you, for example you can buy the sandals here EA7, Calvin Klein, Hugo Boss, Nike you can buy all your hats as well like all your designer hats let's have a look close up with all the designer names on as well and I'm here on the front line, you can see the yellow sandy beaches in the background. So you've got five kilometers of yellow sandy beaches here in Sunny Beach. And they have trays here at the front with all the discounts, like they've got caps for 10 lever, which is about five pounds. And uh, they've got some sale items, some trainers here for 15 lever, where you can buy your Converse or your Vans trainers there for seven pound 50. You can buy all your socks here, six lever for, um, sorry, 10 lever for six pairs of socks, which is five pound for six pairs. And you can buy your key rings uh, for your car. Like you could buy yourself a nice BMW key ring there. Uh, they normally cost about 10 or 15 lever, depending on which shop you go to here. Um, I don't know the price in this shop here, but they've got all the designer watches there in the background as well. Um, Rolex and Hublot and that type of thing. So you can get all the copies here as well. So these shops just line the whole promenade. There's just loads and loads of different shops here in the north of Sunny Beach. And um, you can buy all of your uh, touristy items like your fridge magnets there on the right side as well. Um, all of your hats and things. And you can buy, let's have a look close up. Oh, you can buy bottle openers as well and all of that type of thing. So this is the best area of sunny beach for beaches and to the right side you just see those lovely yellow sandy beaches there. This end of sunny beach is a bit quieter than the, the centre of sunny beach and the south side. But they've got big wide beaches here and they're 100 metres wide. It's the perfect place for a day on the beach with the family. And you can see the hot air balloon uh, there in the background as well. You can do all of your water sports here. You can do jet skiing here, you can go out on the pedalo, you can do paragliding here as well. You can do everything down here, guys. So on the right side, they're advertising excursions and rent a car. You can do a day trip here to Istanbul. You can go to Old Nesabar for the day. You can go to Belgic. You can go to Sozopol, which is one hour by boat from here. And you can go to Varna, which is 58 kilometers from here. Varna is the city with the main university and it's, um, Varna is a, a fantastic city to visit. Um, it's not far, I mean in the car it'll take you about one hour, 15 minutes or it takes you two hours on the bus to get to Varna. So on the right side we have the Imperial Hotel and it's, um, it looks really, really classy. I believe it's a five star hotel. Let's show you the pool area of this hotel. And there's loads of really nice five star and four star hotels this side of the resort. So there's some lovely statues outside the front of the hotel. It looks really, really classy. It's all the tourists there chilling by the pool and you can see the big seagulls there as well. And the tourists are doing all the games there by the pool. In terms of hotel accommodation, the best time to come here is May or September because you get a very big discount on your hotel when you come here in those months. And in July and August, you pay the full price. Uh, the prices are very high for hotels in July and August in comparison with uh, May and September. I love the statues on the outside of this hotel. And let's swing round and show you the promenade in the background. 
I think this is the nicest stretch of the promenade here on the north side of Sunny Beach. So how to get here, um, flying here from England, you want to use Wizz Air or you can use Ryanair to get here. Um, a flight will take you about two and a half, three hours to get here. Uh, the flight from Poland took me, um, took me about two hours to get here from Poland. And um, and the nearest airport to here is Burgas Airport, which is about half an hour drive away from here. And your airline, if you book it with Wizz Air or if you book it with Ryanair, your airline will do you a transfer and it'll cost you about £20 to get here with a shared transfer. Or a, a taxi might cost you about 50 euros to get here. So there's the majestic hotel there on the left side. The gardens look absolutely fantastic. It would be a lovely place to stay. I mean, look at that. It looks absolutely fantastic. The palm trees look fantastic as well. Swing round just to show you the beach again. Um, so there's about three or four five-star hotels here in a row, this end of the resort. Um, so you're about 25 minutes walk from Flower Street, which is the main bar street where it all goes on. So you're a little bit cut off from the nightlife if you're this end of town. But there are some bars here and restaurants along the beach as well. So you'll find plenty of places where you can have a coffee or a beer in the evening. And there we've got um, Venice Beach, which is opposite. Um, and uh, that will be opening soon in the next days. It's the 3rd of June in 2023. So um, I'd say that about 90% of the places are now open. Uh, the season started about a week or two ago. Uh, let's have a look at these gardens in the hotel. There's a nice fountain there to the right side as well. Looks like that would be a lovely place to stay. It looks very modern, very clean. The right side we have the um, Fiesta Beach Bar. They have a happy hour sign outside as well. It, said, um, it says bar and food on the sign. And you can take a sunbed here on the beach as well, a bit further on. And they're doing some beds for 12 leather, which is six pounds. Uh, one thing I noticed is the prices have gone up this year in 2023. The prices were cheaper last year and the year before. But after the COVID, um, all the prices have gone up here in Sunny Beach. So now you're probably paying about three pounds for a beer in most of the bars. Uh, you might get a happy hour in the daytime with some discounts in the day. But the prices are not so cheap like they used to be here. So it looks like they're not open yet. They'll be opening in the next days though. Um, there's some bar staff. Hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Having a nice holiday? Yes. So where are you from? From Czech Republic. Oh, nice one. I was in Olomouc recently. Really nice, really, really nice. It's nice to nice meet you. Lovely, lovely. Nice to meet you, bye. Good time. Yeah, there's tourists here from every different country. Last night there was some Czech tourists as well in the pub. There were some tourists there from Ukraine, met people here from England, from Ireland, from Germany, from Romania, just people here from absolutely everywhere. So Bulgaria, like the location of Bulgaria, and to the south of Bulgaria, you've got Turkey and you've got Greece. To the east side of Bulgaria, you've got Serbia. And to the north side, you've got Romania. And it's not far here to drive to the Romanian Riviera and you get to resorts like Constanta, for example. That's a lovely seaside resort, a bit like this. Definitely worth a visit if you're doing a road trip. And that's why you get lots of Romanian tourists here. But surprisingly, you don't get many Turkish tourists here. Uh, the reason they've got their own resorts there in Turkey, uh, big resorts like uh, Antalya and Alanya, 
and they tend to stick to their own resorts really they don't come here much to Bulgaria previously lots of Russian tourists came here but now um, the European Union has blocked flights here so there's no more flights here from Russia so there's no tourists here from Russia this year at all um, unless they fly into Serbia uh, they are allowed to fly into Serbia and change to come but um, yeah so it's different this year and here is the Helena beach bar on the right side I like to walk up from the center and just go for a coffee on at Helena beach bar um, it's really chilled out and relaxing there um, it's a lovely space to, a lovely place to chill out for the afternoon and they've got the hammocks there as well on the beach um, this is the Helena Resort Hotel on the left side. It's one of the best hotels in Sunny Beach. I'll just get closer and show you the pool area. It's a really, really posh hotel. It's a five-star hotel and they're all-inclusive there as well. And I met some people the other day who were staying there and they said it was really fantastic. I like the look at the gardens outside there. Uh, that's the hotel name on the board so you can see it there and you can see the phone number on there and everything as well so let's have a look at this helena beach bar here uh, i think i'll have a coffee there now and this is the end of the stretch of beach just looks lovely you get a pint of beer here for about seven level, which is about £3.50 for a pint of local beer. Uh, if you buy the local beer, it's much, much cheaper than international beer. Uh, you'll end up paying about nine level for an international beer in uh, Bulgaria. And let's have a look at the beach bar here. So I do recommend it. Um, there you go. Hi, how's it going? And that looks like a really nice place to uh, to chill out and spend a day in the sun. And you've got the white beds there in the distance as well. And you can hire a white bed for the day. So I'll finish the tour now, guys. Um, well, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col, And that's Col with a C-O-L. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.